Hi everybody from YouTube, all my followers, hi people, welcome to another video and uh, the video today is on a BMW E60 2004. Uh, if you are uh, one of my followers you probably watched the video. Uh, now this one, uh, if you are not my follower uh, I will leave the link in the description below where I was uh, working on this same car uh, to code the CD changer which uh, has been coded but um, unfortunately I couldn't uh, show you the the CD changer working um, if you watch the video right until the end, you will see that right at the end of the video I've concluded that uh, was a problem on the um, optics uh, network of this car and um, that was the reason why the CD changer uh, didn't work after being coded. So the car came back to me today uh, and that is to see what is causing this issue. Uh, so. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, quick, and that's going to be very quick, uh, just explain you how an uh, optic fiber network works, and um, so you'll have a better understanding in case if you don't, and uh, then um, then we will we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, so this might not going to be a very good explanation. Surely there there is. Uh, uh, Bad explanations out there for this, but let's gonna take this car as an example, and we have the mask here in the center console, which is the DVD player, the radio, uh, the CD player, and the radio, which is called mask in this car. Then we have the CD changer over there, which has just been fitted, but anyway, base there. Then in the boot, we'll have the mouth, which is basically the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth module. Uh, the CD changer, for example, the only other wires that goes into it. <coughs> sorry about that. The only two other wires that goes to there, to this, other than the optics, is actually uh, power. So there's two wires, ground and 12 volts, and then the optics, and that's it. It's the only thing that connects to this module. Uh, there is a little bit more to this, because you have the Bluetooth antenna and a few other things, but, but all these three modules, they communicate between them uh, through uh, optics. And the way it works is, you're going to have something like this. And that's it. That's all you have. So each module will have, let's say, let's say is this way. I'm not sure if it is, but so what happened is the mask, uh, for example, uh, requests something to the mouth. And what happened is the information travels one way only. So what happens is, when the mask wants something from the, from the mouth, what happens is it sends whatever that information is, or a request, whatever that is, and that goes from there to there. The CD changer is going to see it, but it's going to ignore it because it's not for him. So he's going to repeat that message, and that message is going to come all the way to this. And obviously this one is going to receive the message, and it's going to take it because it's, the message is, is to this uh, module. And if this module wants to send to that module, well, there's exactly the same. So, is is a constant loop, uh, which only works if the loop is closed. The moment you break the loop, the information stops traveling. So you might get communicating from here to this, which yeah, okay, I want to go to CD number two. But then the CD changer cannot reply back to the mask because it's broken so 
the moment you break this ring everything stops working every module in this optic ring will stop working it doesn't matter how many modules we have it will stop working okay so this car used to have only two modules we had this module watch the video on the link uh, below and you'll see we'll we have uh, attached this module but uh, it's to be fair with you the morph was not working even before which obviously that was already because uh, that, that was one of the things I've been asked to look at as well and obviously now everything makes sense watch the other video and you, you will understand so this is is very basic on how an optic uh, network works and um, we might gonna need to come back to this maybe not but the first thing I'm gonna do is going to be to expose every single terminal of the multimedia network and we should have behind the muff uh, the, the mask we're gonna have something there we're gonna have obviously uh, where the TV change is supposed to be and we're gonna have in the boot uh, where the, the morph is um, be careful there is more than one optic fibers network on this car you have the optic fibers for the safety network which in, in globes incorporates airbags uh, safety modules and all that and you have the multimedia the way you identify these two is that the safety optics network is usually yellow so the cables are yellow on the outside um, the multimedia they are orange okay so avoid to unplug anything that has yellow optic fiber cables um, because you're gonna trigger safety warnings uh, they should go away when you plug everything back on uh, in case if by mistake you do it or whatever um, but uh, if you don't have how to reset the codes I would advise you not to touch that network okay so let's gonna do it let's gonna expose um, all these uh, terminal points and let's see and when we go from there okay uh, I should have uh, actually uh, imagined this uh, as you probably have noticed, um, there is uh, a parrot thing installed here. The cable is down here now. Uh, and uh, obviously that's why nothing was working. Uh, so the optics are actually here, connecting, connected to nothing. Uh, as you can see, the optics, it's got, just going to make sure they are working can see the, the LED working there but there's not, nothing connected so from here the whole system was uh, was, uh, was obviously uh, off uh, so what I'm gonna do to start with is take the optics from there and connect them in there and see what happens so obviously that was the reason why the why this network was broken if you also remember okay so here he is uh, this goes straight into there and uh, goes straight to there as you can see even here it tells you it's two little arrows tells you which one is the input and the output now in the boot if you remember if you watch my other video I would recommend uh, you to watch the other video uh, you're gonna see that I had no uh, plugs uh, for these or casings for this which I do have now I bought some uh, to put on the back and I'm gonna show you at the moment uh, on the move so this is the Bluetooth module on the move I just have this I'm gonna get the plug that I bought and uh, we're gonna put this back on and as you can see I'm gonna show you there's no light I hope it's gonna be able to see afterwards but you can see they are both off yeah it's gonna put it like this 
As you can see, there's no light coming through. As you can see, it needs to be a red light. You're gonna see that as soon as I plug that, that other one at uh, the other end, behind the mask, one of these is gonna be lit. That one's gonna be the input. It's gonna be the input into this module. So let's gonna go back again. So let's gonna put this in there. Find a way for this to reach that. It pause this. Okay, so that's uh, plugged in now over there. We're gonna go back in the boot and we're gonna see that one of those optics is now lit red. <sighs> okay, it's now lit red because it goes to the CV changer first. Ah, there it is. All right, so we have light in there now. Can you see that? Please watch my other video. I should have showed you this before, but actually, hang on a second. This clip there is broken, so that's gonna do something. I'm gonna unplug that one in there, and you're gonna see the light is gonna go off. Okay, so I've just unplugged this uh, again from the actually mask. As you can see, they are both off in there, and I'm just gonna show you as I start putting in, it becomes, starts to lit. So the cable is good, which is a good sign. I'm gonna put it again. There it is, flashing. I'm gonna take it off. You can see the light fading out, and then just goes off. You still have, you still see a little bit of like a light, white, because the light are actually the ambient light. If I cover that off in there, no, you can't actually. Hang on. Can you see when I cover this with my finger, it goes completely black. Okay. So let's go and unplug the optics back on. Because that's what we need. So we have light there again. And now I'm going to put the CD changer back on. I need to make sure the actually input is in the right side because I had to cut this off uh, to uh, split this off and I don't know which one is the input or the output so let's gonna have a look see if they are in the right place when I put it in there see if it's in the right oh actually it is oh great stuff I've actually put it in the right place which is brilliant Okay, so let's kind of plug the CD changer back on and then we're going to go in, in the boot Make sure uh, we put a plug in there because this plug is from the boot um, This one here, so we're going to put the uh, put it back on and uh, Put it in the right place and hopefully we'll close the loop Okay, as you can see in the boot uh, we now have Optics working perfectly and um, I have a new adapter here it's quite easy to put this on I'm just gonna show you it's a straightforward thing so that's the input on the plug itself there is like I said uh, earlier there is a an arrow that shows you which ones are so Input and output will go like this. You push them in until, until you hear this little click. You press this little tab at the back. And we're going to put it in again, which goes like that. Job done. All I need to do now is... Oh, before I plug them in, it's a curiosity. As you can see, if I go into CD, 
the CD is still, hang on, let me put the CD in there because otherwise I can't select CD changer. Hang on, just let me put the CD back on the mask. So as you can see, the CD is now active. I can go to different tracks, but when I go to CD changer, they're still grayed out. As you can see, I can't select nothing because the loop at the moment is still broken. So we have from here to here is okay. From here to here is okay. But now we need to complete the loop, which is what we're going to do when we plug that... Uh, uh, move plug and we're going to close the loop Go to the front again. And as you can see, the CDs are now active. You CD4 on it. I'm going to put CD2. And it's working. CD2 tracks. It's going to go to CD3. And that's it. So in this case it was a really easy fix. Uh, it could have been a broken uh, a broken uh, optic fiber or uh, kinked. Uh, if you kink these cables they are prone to break and stop uh, transporting light so it's quite sensitive cables. Um, yeah so we got this one sorted. Uh, but that's it. This is how you you can um, uh, check an optic. You should always have one lead, the other off. So the lead one is the input. The cable that doesn't show light should be the output. If you have both cables with no light, that means you have a problem somewhere. And you need to go back and trace them module by module. See where the break is. Um, Guys, with no really more to say, I'm just going to put everything back on. Uh, as you can see, everything is working. As you can see, it's playing. CD3, track 1. For obvious re reasons, I'm not going to put this playing. There it is. So, that's it. That's it, guys. With no more to say, I'm just going to put everything back on. And, um, and that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Guys, any questions, um, comments, use the going to be below. And uh, like always, guys, uh, thank you for watching.